talk about wounds and fears of our main character. How severe should they be? If they're too extreme, will it scare the viewer away? Um, well, first of all, keep in mind that the wound is always something that occurs before the story actually begins. It's in the character's backstory. Sure. So rarely in a movie will we actually see that wound. The only reason we would see it is if there's either a prologue that shows the wound. So if you take a movie like um, Twister, where we see her father swept away by a tornado, and then we flash forward to where she's a grown up, but we know that is a wounding experience that's going to affect her, or that's affecting her now. Or it might be in a flashback, uh, Hitch is a good example of that. I'm not really that fond of flashbacks as a rule, especially to reveal wounds, but in that movie it works, I think, because it's such a funny flashback as well as touching, and it est establishes such an important quality for the character of Hitch, because we see when he was in college, he had his heart broken, and that's when he acquired the belief, if I fall in love with anybody, it's gonna to lead to a broken heart, which leads to his identity, which is, I'll help everybody else fall in love, but I don't do that, that's not for me. So I think it's more palatable, if you will. I don't think you're gonna scare anybody away with it, because oftentimes we won't see it. Also, keep in mind, you're not gonna announce the wound in most movies at the beginning. Sometimes we're aware, like in Sleepless in Seattle, the opening shot is a man holding his son's hand over a grave saying, mommy died. That's pretty direct. But oftentimes we don't learn what that wound is until well into the story. It's at least halfway through Goodwill Hunting before we find out about the abuse that he suffered when he was a child or find out the details about his father taking a belt to him. Um, in gravity, it doesn't open by saying, I'm sorry about your daughter dying. It comes out gradually after the opportunity when the space debris comes through and destroys this, the ship and so on. And then Ryan is talking to the George Clooney character and revealing what it was that happened back on Earth that led to her daughter dying and why she's carrying that around. So it's not gonna be abrupt. It's not gonna be right at the top of the story most of the time. Uh, and last of all, one of the most effective ways, I think, to reveal the wound is through dialogue. It's oftentimes more powerful to hear about a wound that the characters suffered than it would be to actually watch it on the screen. A great example of this is the movie um, um, L.A. Confidential. Uh, by the way, I just read Curtis Hansen, who co-wrote and directed the movie, just passed away yesterday. So the, this is the day we're filming this thing, and that was so sad, because I think it's just one of the great American movies and one of the great American screenplays. But the wound for Bud White, the Russell Crowe character, is when he was a child, he watched his father beat his mother to death with a tire iron while he was chained to the bed, and then he was left there with the body for two days. That would be such an unbelievable gruesome experience to watch on the screen but it's such a beautiful moment when he finally reveals it because it's right after the midpoint he's just made love to Lynn the uh, Kim Basinger character and it shows how they have gotten closer they are connected more at this level of essence because finally he's opening up about exactly what the pain is that he's been carrying around so long and what led to him becoming kind of this brute cop who still does everything he can to rescue women so i don't think it's something to worry about in the way you said. I just think it's something to skillfully weave into the story so that we'll feel more affinity to the character and also so it will lead to the reason for the character's identity. You're saying that we don't have to show the wound or explain what happened, but at some point we do reveal it? Yes. Or, or is it never, are there some stories where we know they're wounded but it's never totally revealed what that wound is or how it happened? Yeah, there are movies where it's never clearly stated. Uh, Titanic is that way. It's very clear what her identity is and what her, her essence is. She longs to be passionate. She longs to live a fulfilled, passionate, adventuresome life, but she's stuck with this mother who interferes in her life and this rich guy who's really a jerk. 
And so it never says, well, when I was a child, this happened, or when I was an adolescent, this happened. We can infer some things. The inference I make is that probably she either had no father or the father abandoned them early on. That's why the mother is so intent that her daughter find a rich guy to take care of her. But it's never really stated fully. So you can go without revealing it as long as we get a clear idea of what the identity that has resulted for the hero is. The main thing though I think is you as the screenwriter or you as the novelist need to know what the wound was. You need to know your backstory for your hero well enough that you can say this is what wounded them in the past and this is why they're the way they are in the present.